So I thought long and hard about what I wanted my first conversation back to be. And then it became clearer and clearer by the day exactly what that conversation needed to be. And I think a lot of you know me well enough to know that I'm not really like a console war kind of guy. I play most of my multi-platform games on PC. The console exclusives I play on their consoles. That's pretty much where I'm at. However, with that being said, I've also heaped a lot of praise on Sony over the past few years, and over the past three years, I've heaped a lot of praise onto Microsoft for Microsoft Games Pass. But that's only a little bit of what I actually want to talk about today. There is some pretty wild rumors going around, and some pretty crazy changes happening over on the Microsoft Xbox side, that I think might call the end of this console war conversation altogether. And I don't mean because Microsoft's going to win. In fact, that's not what I mean at all. So first, let me start with this crazy, ridiculous rumor that's probably not true. Some of you might have seen, uh, some other people cover this, this new PS5 exclusive horror game called Abandoned. Now, I don't really know what this game is. No one really does. All we've really seen is the trailer that Sony released. That's not really all that interesting. What's interesting is that there was a big enough surge of rumors that much like we saw in the past with Silent Hills, that this trailer may actually be for Kojima's next game and this studio may actually be a front or a facade for Kojima Productions. Uh, it was such a fervent rumor that the studio themselves actually had to come out and be like, hey, by the way, we're not Hideo Kojima, we're just a bunch of guys making a game. Uh, which I think uh, that'll probably be in this week's uh, What a Weird Week video, but not the point. Venture Beat, a bunch of other places picked up on this, a bunch of other YouTubers picked up on it. After this happened, a rumor began circulating that no, Kojima's not making it abandoned, but he is in talks with Microsoft for a publishing deal, meaning that his next game would be a Microsoft Xbox, presumably in PC, exclusive. No Sony consoles. This is uh, strange. However, I wanna talk about why a, I, I don't actually think this is true, but B, why if it is, it wouldn't shock me at all. What Microsoft has done over the past, I don't know, six to 10 months has maybe been one of the most interesting and flagrant examples of a company reaching into a pot that they previously seemed to have no interest in that I've ever seen. Let's not forget that just eight years ago, the console wars were at their peak. Would Sony, who actually sold on par with the Xbox 360 worldwide that gen, would they be able to come back and, and trounce Microsoft? The predictions leading into that gen and that E3 and those reveals were Microsoft was going to outsell Sony no matter what. Microsoft was too big in the West. And then that didn't happen at all. I don't know if you remember 2013 E3, but uh, it, it wasn't pretty for Microsoft. Uh, it's funny because now what the Xbox Series X is, is a lot like what they promised in some ways, but that's not really the point. The point is, is that console war conversation carried for years. And here's why I think that that conversation might be over. I don't think Microsoft cares too much about the console wars anymore. And I don't think all of the things I'm about to talk about are examples of them caring. I actually think in a way it's the opposite. Here's what we know, Microsoft acquired Bethesda. What does that mean for Bethesda games moving forward? There's conversations about timed exclusivity, there's conversations about no exclusivity. It does mean that all Bethesda games will be day one Games Pass releases, right? That's a big deal. What we also know is that the Sony published MLB series is now a day one Games Pass release on Xbox, which I can't explain that one actually. Uh, Microsoft must have paid a big price tag for that, which leads me to my point actually. I don't really think, and as much of you, as uh, uh, many of you probably know this already, this isn't revelatory, I don't think Microsoft cares about selling Xbox Series X units as much as they care about the new war we're seeing start across media. The console wars are over. Sony is outselling Microsoft handily. That doesn't matter because console wars are not the future and Microsoft seems to know this. They seem to be thinking way out ahead. Now let's not forget, in 2013 we heard about Sony acquiring a company called Gaikai. Now you may or may not, if you're new to the gaming sphere, have ever heard of Gaikai. But the point of buying Gaikai was this cloud computing service, right? And the point of this was that Sony would have an opportunity to put all of their games on the cloud, to create this backwards compatibility through the cloud. The problem with that was obviously 
cloud technology and Gaikai in general simply was not in the state it needed to be for this to work very well. PlayStation Now is fine if you have a wonderful internet connection, but other than that, it's got a lot of input latency, it's it's lags, it's not pretty either. Uh, I have gigabit internet and even I don't find it a great experience. It's certainly not as good as, you know, bringing out a PS3 and playing Sly Cooper on that. The point being, Sony saw the future. Sony saw that, hey, streaming is where things are going, right? But what Sony missed is that in the interim, it would be subscription services that would be the future. That's what would really matter down the line. Cloud computing services need to evolve dramatically before the cloud and streaming and gaming becomes the true, true presence it's supposed to be, which is why we saw Stadia come out and fall on its face. What Microsoft has done is they've cornered this market in a way that's kind of spectacular. Games Pass and PlayStation Now are not on the same level. Right now we're getting announcements every single day about what's game coming to Games Pass, what Games Pass is, what's coming day one to Games Pass, and then Sony limps out and goes, hey, on PlayStation now, we're, we're behind the curve, but here's Marvel's Avengers, which isn't very good, and Borderlands 3, which has been out for two years, almost. That's uh, not the same thing. Microsoft is betting on winning the subscription war not the console war. And in turn, what Microsoft's hoping is that they can build this subscription into their cloud technology that's being developed and advancing very quickly right now. Microsoft's playing the interim game and the future game. Now, does that mean that Sony's in trouble? Absolutely not. Sony has cornered the console market to a point that I don't think anybody fathomed in terms of the competition with Microsoft seven, eight years ago. Sony is doing just fine in gaming. I still love my Sony console, and most importantly, where Sony is still winning dramatically is in console exclusives. Sony is killing the game right now when it comes to console exclusive games. I still, to this day, can only count on one hand the amount of console exclusive games on Xbox that have truly mattered to me over the past few years. It takes all of my appendages to count all of the Sony exclusive games that have mattered to me. Even so far this gen, there's a big gap in between these two consoles. But what I'm saying all of this for, the reason we're having this conversation is because Sony has to step up what PlayStation Now is. That there's just no way around it. There's no conversation to be had. Microsoft is going to run away with the subscription war that we're seeing across media. We're seeing it in television, film, and now games. And if film and television are any indication, it's only going to heat up more in gaming. I mean, look at it this way, Ubisoft, Bethesda, Activision, all of these companies are either already in or looking at subscription services for their games, Ubisoft being one of the front runners for this. EA, for example, has EA Origin, EA Play. It's here, the time is now, and it's been weird to see console manufacturers behind the curve on this, but Microsoft is finally rounding that corner where Sony is just limping along. I love my PS5. In fact, I genuinely, at this point, use it a lot more than my Xbox Series X and obviously Series S, which I haven't touched and I'm not sure why I got, but that's not the point. The point is, is that this is Sony's race to lose long term, but right now they're being caught very, very quickly by a company who is innovating in this space a lot more rapidly. Well, now I kind of want to know what you guys think about, well, all of this. Uh, I know this is the first kind of conversation video back, so I'd love to know what you guys want to hear me talk about. Most pertinently, what I want to know is what Microsoft exclusive right now, or what could Microsoft buy that could get you to go out and buy an Xbox if you don't already have one? What's that game? What is the killer app to you? Is it an MLB? Is it them, I don't know, buying Madden? At this rate, who knows what they're going to do? Is it the next Kojima game? What could get you if you don't have an Xbox to pick one up? And if you're not using yours, what could get you to pick up that controller? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, press the like button down below. Also hit subscribe. If you don't know what I'm doing on this channel this month, uh, also hit the notification bell, by the way. You're probably not being notified even if you're subscribed right now because I've been away for a while, so hit the notification bell. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the poll should still be up. What I'm doing on this channel is 15% uh, of the revenue each and every month is going to a charity or a small creator. Uh, if you want to vote on the poll to decide where this month goes, that poll should still be up on the community tab. And uh, maybe right here should be two. Uh, recent Clean Prince videos. I hope <laughs> you can click on either of those, stay right here, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.